Hi everyone, welcome back. This is lesson 12 of machine learning Zoom Camp, session two, and we will talk about categorical variables. So categorical variables are variables that are categories. So these are typically strings. So these are not numbers. So things like make, model, engine fuel type, uh, transmission type, driven wheels, they are categorical variables. So typically they are strings and uh, we have quite a few of them. Uh, here, if we look at D types, so we have make, model, and so on. So all these uh, things that have type objects, object, they are uh, categorical variables. But there is one variable that is uh, that looks like it's numerical, number of doors, but it's actually not uh, not a numerical variable. It's a categorical variable uh, because there are distinct types of cars. So there are cars that have two doors, cars that have three do uh, doors, and cars that have four doors, right? So these cars are quite different. So it's uh, it's not really a numerical number, uh, a numerical variable. Even though it looks numerical, it just happened that the values of this variable are numbers. And that's why pandas uh, treats uh, them as usual numbers, right? And uh, we want to use variables like that for our models. Uh, for our model, um, because they could be important. So, for example, um, for uh, cars with two doors, they are probably more expensive than, uh, let's say, a car with four doors. And uh, the typical way of encoding you no know, such categorical variables is we represent, uh, let's say, we have uh, here we have our column with different values. So it can be like number of doors, right? It can be, let's say, two, three four again two. And the way we usually encode it is we represent it with a bunch of binary columns. So for each value, so let's say this is a number of doors two, number of doors three, and number of doors four. For each value, we have a different column. And then uh, we put one like for this row, because the number of rows is two then we uh, the number of doors is two that's why we put uh, one in this in this column and put zeros everywhere and for this one uh, one goes here and these ones get zero and then for four again one goes here to the column number of doors four and then here again we have two um, that's why we have one in the first column so we represent uh, um, one uh, categorical column with uh, multiple binary columns, multiple binary variables. And the way we can do this in pandas is using this equals equals separator. So let's say when we say that number of doors two uh, equals to two, then basically it shows that uh, for the first car it's true. So the, 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 uh, the number of doors is actually, you can see that it's two. And then this, this is also two. two. Yeah, we can see it's true. Um, so one thing we need to do now is just turn to it into integer. So we have here ones and zeros. And for that, we can just use this S type uh, function that turns a Boolean into integer. Right? And then we can do this for all of them, right? For two, three, and four. And uh, yeah, so what we need to do now is just write it back to a data frame. Uh, and then um, the way we do this, we can just, uh, let's say, have a number of doors equals four, and then have a, have a variable like that. And then it will create a new, uh, a new variable here, a new column in the data frame that, uh, that is one for all the cars that have four doors. And then, uh, yeah, we can uh, do this for free uh, for two doors and for three doors right so here it would be two would be three but we don't of course need to do that um, we can just write a, a loop that will look like uh, for value in two three four so these are different values um, and then we uh, can use uh, here this string template so this uh, let's say number doors S and S will be replaced by uh, something we we'll pass. Let's say here in this case, it will be replaced by three. In this case, it will be replaced by four. Right? So we will create a column 
for each of the values. And here we just, uh, yeah, so we we'll basically go through all the values of number of doors, two, three, four, and then create a separate uh, column for that. But I will not execute this now here because I will add this. Oh, actually, I can execute this. Let's see what, what happens. So, okay, I forgot to, uh, to add this here thing here. So it needs to replace S with, uh, with B. Yeah, we see it appeared here. Of course, I need to delete this now. And uh, I'll also delete this uh, three and four. So now they should be gone. This is how we can represent categorical variables and also put them in our uh, feature uh, matrices. So let's modify our prepare X function. Um, again, we make a copy because we don't want to accidentally write these uh, columns in our, uh, in our data frames. So here we will uh, go through three values, these three values, uh, and basically do the same thing. So and then I'll just replace df train with df. Yeah. So and uh, here we also need to add this uh, name, uh, the feature name. To the list of features because later we want to, we want to get these features from the data frame and then put them to the matrix X. So in that I will use the append function here. So here I don't use append because uh, I want to create a new uh, a new list. So I don't want to change the base list every time because otherwise if I uh, let's say use append here. Um, then it will append the H uh, value every time to this base list. So in this case, I will actually need to uh, do a copy. So let's call it features. Uh, and then I append to the list. Um, so this is basically the same idea here. So we don't want to modify uh, the list base. Right? Okay. So now, so we still compute the H uh, variable, and then we go through the values of number of doors, and then we put this to the features list. So the features list uh, will contain all the features we have from the baseline features. Then we will have the H feature, and then we will have three new features that is number of doors two, number of doors three, and number of doors four. So let's uh, test if it works actually. Prepare X. Let's test it on our yeah we see now that uh, it adds a new uh, set of columns one for those like this is number of doors two number of doors three number of doors four and let's just copy this thing for training so we don't need actually to change anything here and see if there is any improvement we uh, see that the results so the previous result was this one let me just copy it um, so it improved only slightly, like only a little bit, right? So the improvement is almost uh, negligible. So the number of uh, doors feature is not that useful. But I'm pretty sure that uh, if we add make, the make should be uh, quite useful. So for that, uh, if we look at make, uh, we have quite a, a lot of values. So let's uh, look at an unique. So we have a lot of values and uh, yeah, we can just, what we can do is just look at the top, uh, the most popular values. So for that, we have uh, this function called value counts. And when we can see what are the most uh, popular ones, right? And we see that uh, for uh, top five, we can use this head uh, um, function. We can see that uh, uh, for make, these five are the most popular ones. And again, so this is the values, this is the index. So if we want to get the actual values, we use this index index property. And uh, yeah, let's also wrap it in our usual Python list. So these are the most popular makes of cars and we can include them in the same way as, uh, as number of doors. So let's 
for now we can just copy and paste we well, just write uh, car mix or maybe just mix so we have makes here and then for v in mix so i'll just replace here this thing with make and this thing with make and this thing with make so the code is the same so we again for each of those uh, makes and we have uh, so we have chevrolet ford volkswagen toyota dodge so for each of them we do a similar thing like here so we actually will have five um new columns here because there are five uh, values and then it will be for all the Chevrolet it will be one okay so let's uh, try to see if anything changes so just copy this and run it and we can see that the results improved uh, but of course the improvement is not as drastic as when we added H but still like it uh, increased uh, decreased one percent which is quite okay we can do the same uh, for other variables uh, for other categories so let's say we have makes here but in addition to makes uh, we have so let's look at uh, again d types so we have um, engine fuel type that's uh, a categorical variable then we have uh, transmission type that's a categorical variable and then we have um, driving driven wheel that's a categorical variable and then uh, yeah vehicles market category vehicle size uh, vehicle style so all these are uh, categories so, so now we have all the categorical variables yes. um, well I'm, I'm not adding a model here because there are simply too many models but i'll add uh, make and all these other other ones Right, so we have quite a few of them. Um, so what we can do now is we can uh, do the same thing like we did here, but for all of this, right? So we can do this for make, for engine uh, fuel type, for transmission type, for driven wheels, for market category, for uh, vehicle size, for vehicle style. Yeah, so what we can do is we can maybe create a, a first a, a dictionary. Well, let's call it categories. And this dictionary will contain for each of the category, it will contain the top five uh, most common ones. So now we will need to go over this list of categories. And then uh, for this, for each category, we will get a list of the most common ones. Okay, and here we just need to replace this make with C. And let's see what we get we need to to give it a different name um we can call it categorical variables yeah so now it should yes yeah, so now for make it contains the most popular makes for engine fuel type uh, for transmission type so basically for for all these uh, variables we know what uh, the most uh, popular values they have now we can just take this prepare x function and uh, just throw in all the all the categories so for that uh, we'll need to to make two loops so one is across uh, for each item uh, in this uh, so for each key of this dictionary and then for each value inside uh, we will create a new uh, a new column so for let's do for c in uh, categories um, then for, and actually we need to, to do this over key value pairs of the dictionary. So we use uh, the items field here. Then uh, we do another loop over the values of each uh, category. And then here we need to have something like uh, that. So it will replace the first one, uh, the first percent as with C. And then the second percent as with uh, V, right? And here we need to do that. And the last one is just the name. Um, so number of doors, I'll just keep like that and let's execute. And now we again do the same thing. 
we execute it and let's see what happens. And what happens is now actually this value is significantly higher than what we had before. So before we had uh, 0 0.5, right? And now all of a sudden it's 41. Something went wrong. And if we look at the values that we have, so we see the values that our linear regression function, uh, train linear regression function outputs, they're huge. So this is uh, uh, like, this is because scientific notation, it's very difficult to read, but if you convert it to an integer, so it's a huge, huge negative number. Right? And then the, these weights, uh, we see that some of them are also very large. So for example, this, uh, this row here, so this is, uh, so this is a huge, huge, huge value. So something went wrong. We wanted to improve our model by adding more variables, but we just made it worse. And in the next lesson, we will see why that happened and how to fix it.